impossible to get into this position where European qualification is in your own hands? Then? Well, we're no Patrick Moore, are we? So we find it very difficult to predict the future, and that's why we restrict ourselves to one game at a time. And uh, as we've always said, we'll get a reward for what we do at the end of the season. But uh, we'll just keep going and see what we can do. We never set ourselves any target other than to get what we could for the next game and prepare as best we could for the next game. And that's that's all we've done. Could playing Europa League football next season hinder a challenge for the top four in any way? I suppose uh, you'll come up with some answer to that, Vinny. But we've not got that problem yet. So until that problem arises, we don't need to solve anything. The biggest problem I've got is Phil coming up at it. Monday night, so where we are at the end of the season, uh, there'll be problems that have to be solved. And if they get Europa League, that'll be one of the problems. Is that where the planning for next season starts then, in the summer, or, or is it already started now? I would have thought it started a, a good while ago for next season, so um, that's just one of the things that has to be taken into consideration. But you can't predict what's going to happen, so there's no point in worrying about that. That's what your reaction is now that Andy Carroll has been named in that 40 man under 21 squad ahead of the Euro Championship. Still the same as it was before. There's no uh, there's no definitive decision on whether he's going to go. He's in a 40 man squad. I think the only two names that were missing, Vinny, were you and I. So maybe you're no under 21. You think I could still get him? Uh, I don't doubt it in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> But there's no, there's nothing for us to, to really get involved in, until, um, until it's definitive that he's going to go, or if they do want him to go. Uh, but uh, for me, I think um, the benefit of having younger teams is, is to use them to progress players into the, the full team. Exactly the same at club as what it is at international. So, I mean, for us, we've, the kids have just played there and. Drawn 2-2, uh, finished second in the league uh, when they had an opportunity to, to go first. But for us, I suppose we'll get the blame because we've taken Flanagan and Robinson away from them. So we've weakened them. Three of them are away also with England under 17s. So for us, that is more progress than what it would have been to have won. Um, the youth division they were in, uh, and get no players through. And I don't see it being any different for for anybody else. So, I mean, Andy's played a bit. He's played a number of games for the the younger uh, teams. I think five at least. I think for the under twenty ones and maybe nine for under nineteen or something. But he's played a few, and he's played. For the full, full international squad, so they certainly served this purpose and this development. And that's all we would try to do at club level, whether it's the same at international level. I don't know, I'm not there. But I think the important thing isn't to win a competition, it's to get people progressing through it.